Right, okay. Blah 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 blah. Here's our old correspondent Nicholas Whittle was there. Um, so just tell us what happened today. Uh, sorry, I mean it's just such a you, you know there has been a remembrance service. You I know. can't ask. That's, I, I don't mean you know. Well, well, your, your, your intro will say the Prince of Wales has led a, a commemoration at the cenotaph. What has happened at the cenotaph? They you know they sounded the last post. They had a two well, just tell silence. us all that then. You know. No, no, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not going to. Because, what do you I mean, want me to do, then? What do you want me to do? I don't know, I, honestly, I don't. What I, do you want I, me to do? But uh, what happened... Uh, well, you not tell argue me, between Nicholas, ourselves. what questions you want me to ask. I don't, I don't want to ask any. Well, I know you chat. don't. Um, well, I know you don't. Start with... Uh, because that, that, that is in your queue, what happened. Start with, yeah, you know, it's going to be one of the last occasions... You tell me happens. what to ask you. I just have. I, right. right I, otherwise, I'm going. What's okay? question one? Don't take it out on me. Look, I'm just uh, trying to likewise, do my bloody job as likewise, well. And likewise, and likewise, you know, um, it's just a pointless two-way. But let, well, it, start, it's, it'll be one of the last I'm occasions. The I'm the monkey, not the organ grinder. All right? What do you want me to ask you? I've told you four times. What? Now, this will presumably be one of the last occasions when uh, a right. ceremony such as this happens. Then what shall I ask you after that? Oh, I'm sure you'll think of something. Well, I'm, so, I'm going to ask you questions and you're just going to say to me, I'm not prepared to answer that question. We're not going to get very well, far, uh, are we? I just uh, want to get there's this no, over There's with. no point asking questions which cannot be answered. What happened? There was a ceremony of remembrance. You know, they sang a hymn, said some prayers. Well, you just it, answered it. Oh, all right. Well, if you want me to... This do, you is, want, do you want to persevere with this, Daniel, or not? Sorry, you know? I, 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 I mean, I don't, know I don't understand what's going on here, quite no, frankly. Do do I'd rather be watching the television. We? OK, well, let's leave it. That's, that's fine. You know, I just... I've hung around uh, for you. Well, it's, just, no, 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 it's, it's just pointless. Well, the, this is basically people that obviously didn't don't, don't know what happened today. I mean, obviously, we're going to say with you, there was a memorial today, today's yeah, day. 60th anniversary. Yeah. Well, it's not today, it's week's well, day, but yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's right. the anniversary. So, basically, who was there? So, in other words... The Prince of Wales. Right, so you can say the Prince of Wales there, what a member of the royalty were there. None but of This them. is going to be the last chance to see the veterans. It's kind of the last... Yeah, that's, 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 that is the only in point yeah. to this. This is going to be the last big mm. moral service, because they're all going to die, aren't they? The next big anniversary, they're not going to be... Well, that's, that is what I've been trying to say. Yeah. That is an in point to it. I, I'm fine, yeah, absolutely. I'll ask any question you want me to. Well, you also presumably can think up some yourself. God, blimey. Right, let's have a go. Are we recording all this, Nick? I hope we are. Uh, right, here we go then. Uh, the Q will say whatever the producers wanted to say, and I will say, presumably, Nicholas, this is the last time that all these veterans will get together like this. They're all in their 80s or their 90s. Um, it is likely to be one of the last occasions when the country marks the contribution made by the veterans who fought in the Far East and uh, in Burma. They're members of the Burma Star Association. They, of course, have felt over the past 60 years that they were members of a forgotten army, the 14th Army, in fact, the largest army, the largest single army that Britain had. It fought the longest single campaign they received the greatest number of battle honours. But it's curious, really, that uh, forgotten for so many years, but now receiving their due, and uh, respect was paid to them at the Senate after today. Tell us about the ceremony and, um, and what happened. It was a ceremony of remembrance, the last post, a two-minute silence, wreaths laid at the cenotaph, uh, with the first wreath being laid by the Prince of Wales, uh, the Deputy Prime Minister, and uh, leaders of the Burma Star Association. Is that it? What was the other question you wanted me to ask? Tracy? I, I mean, that's the trouble with something like this. It's, it's well, tell of, me about it, you know. This doesn't really suit kind of two-way treatment. It's either actuality or, uh, you know, a veteran. Right, we've got a veteran. OK. We've got a veteran. So, well, what, so what, what it is is just a quick summary of the kind well, of things that will be going on today. We'll run that and then we'll, well, then we'll have the veterans. I think you, misapprehension here. There haven't been things going on today. There's been one ceremony of remembrance at the Cenotaph. You know, this isn't like Remembrance Day when you've got ceremonies all over the country. I thought there was one in Scotland as well. Well, if there is, I'm not aware of it. Right. I'm sorry. I mean, I just... That's OK. Well, you know, I think it'll still be nice, you know, what's happened at the Cenotaph today. A couple of, a couple of minutes with that before we speak to our vet. I think it'll be nice. Yeah, I mean, there's loads of actuality, which is uh, clearly much more poignant than, than me sitting here but talking we can about use, it. We can use yeah. actuality ahead of you, a couple of minutes of you. Well, I would have fetch. thought, you know, that the intelligent way of doing this, surely, is actuality and a veteran. You know, I have no significance in this at all. The, you know, Prince Charles laid a wreath. Do you see what I mean? I mean, I, I, I'm just... 
you're looking I'm not saying anything I'm just here to, I, I'm just here to ask the questions you know so you tell me what questions you want me to ask and I'll ask her fine well I, I, I think you know we've got we're doing two slots on it one will have some audio with yourself but and then we'll have the vet I, I well just ask think, you, you know, if you decide what questions good. between you you want me to ask I will ask them all right that's all I want Have to you do. Not, you've not been given a cue for it. Well, I've asked. Dick, well, you've come in halfway through this. I basically asked what happened. Nicholas said that's a tough question. He wouldn't answer it. So then he said, "Well, ask me." It's the last time I've asked that question. He's talked about the veterans. Then he said, "Talk about the ceremony." I've done that, and now we can't think of another question between. Well, you've us. got you've got now what? So um, you, see, you you think up some questions, and I'll you've got about a minute and a half. Yeah, there. that's about I a mean, minute surely and that, a half. Isn't there, that you know. isn't that uh, that is frankly all there is to say about it? Fine. Well, that's all we'll say about it. If we've got if we've got that, then. I didn't oh, right. hear it, so I, it's hard I to mean, say. I was just going to say, so we, so we covered who was there, we covered what happened, and I suppose the question now is, is the Forgotten Army, are they now going to be forgotten or something like that? Because, you know, this is right. the last big ceremony. I just wonder if you could touch well, on that, that, perhaps. Just to sort of think a bit more laterally on it. OK. Yeah, well, I think I've already answered that, but I'll have another go. OK, certainly. Thank you. are just presumably starting your shift. I've been... Anyway, I totally on. appreciate that, yeah, absolutely. OK, we're recording. Many of the veterans obviously feel it's important that uh, the war is remembered like this and it'll be interesting to see now what happens. As you say, this will be the last commemoration of its kind. It's, I think, one of the curious things that there seems to be more interest now in the Second World War in uh, conflicts such as the one in the Far East and in Burma than perhaps there was years ago when these men felt that they were forgotten. Um, perhaps as they enter their 80s and 90s, their children, their grandchildren are taking an interest in it. And certainly uh, I think the impression is that we are more interested in history, more interested in the concept of remembrance perhaps now as these people uh, approach the ends of their lives than we were a number of years ago. So uh, certainly the veterans themselves uh, are keen that what they went through, that that memory endures and continues through future generations. Nicholas Witchell, thank you.